All right, folks, this is Fook, and I am back with another tutorial with uh, Media Monkey. And this is uh, because of a question that came in on the, what happened if you ripped all of your music and everything is in one folder and you need to uh, reorganize it. So I have an example here. Um, I've copied a couple of albums just the tracks into uh, one folder here and you can see it where there's only like three albums um, but you can see that some of them are uh, the file name is leading with the track number others are with the artist and it's all mixed up and whatnot so when we go into media monkey and we browse to that uh, folder you see all of the tracks and of course within media monkey you can sort by title, by artist, by whatever, by clicking on the appropriate column name. But that's not really what we're after. What we really want to do is we want to be able to take all of these tracks and have it be better organized. So the way you do that is uh, use a tool within Media Monkey that's called Auto Organize. And basically what you do is you select all of your tracks so I just press Control A to select all the tracks, and uh, Auto Organize um, is under the Tools menu, and it's right here. Order or Auto Organize Files. You can also do it by right-clicking on the tracks and selecting Auto Organize from the menu that pops up. So when we click on that Auto Organize, what's going to happen is that you get um, the screen where you have some options. So by default, it gives you the option to move and rename files to a new destination. Okay, uh, But you can also just copy them rather than move them. But we're going to move them. It asks you where you want to put them. And what I do is I browse to the location where I want to store it to store the, the tracks. So let me click on the folder here. And it may take a while, but I get a dialog box. Um, so this is the root folder, this uh, triple exclamation. And if I expand it, oh, hold on. Uh, there's nothing in there, right? But you can see that it's, it's the E drive and uh, it's the triple exclamation. So what I want to do is I want to make a new folder within this that I'm going to call sorted. So I just click new folder. I'm just give the name sorted. Click OK. And there we go. My system's a little slow right now. I'm doing some stuff in the background, so I apologize for that. But you can see that now it's creating a, a subfolder called sorted underneath the triple exclamation folder. We'll click OK. So that basically sets the root destination. Okay? And if we go back to uh, Windows Explorer, there's that sorted folder. But of course, right now it's empty, right? All of the tracks are still at the top level. So back in Media Monkey, you can see that the destination has the folder by default, but then it has all of these little uh, patterns right here, right? That may not make any sense. So there are templates and patterns that you can do within Media Monkey under the Auto Organize tool to help you organize your files. And if you don't know what these little templates mean. You can click on configure and uh, it'll give you some examples. Okay, So here when you click down you can see that uh, you can do artist and title, track number, title, so on and so forth. Right? So that's basically um, the pattern. And when you click on this little button right here you get the full list of what the patterns are. So here's your, your main one, artist, album, artist, album, uh, track number, okay, things like that, title. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to set uh, within the sorted folder, I'm going to organize it by artist. So right after the backslash, I'm going to put in, in the brackets here, artist, and I'll put another backslash. And you can see in my example 
what it does is that it automatically inserts the name of the artist here. So here you see the Doors, then the Clash, uh, the Beatles, Stevie Nicks, right? Now, suppose within the artist subfolder, I want to further organize it by album name. Then I can just simply add another bracket, type album. That's my pattern. Put a backslash. And then for the file name, I can name it with track title or track number, I'm sorry, and then the title of the uh, track itself. Now what you notice here is that after track number, there's a little colon and then the number two, right? This basically tells you um, or tells MediaMonkey that it should treat all the numbers as a two-digit number. So if you have a big collection of tracks that's like 100 tracks, you may want to make it three-digit number. So let me change that to deleting it and putting a three. So what happens, you can see it right here, it adds zeros to any two-digit number, and it adds two zeros to any one-digit number. So basically, it makes all the numbers three digits. Okay, so one becomes zero, zero, one, um, 10 becomes zero, one, zero, and so on. This just makes your track number more consistent. If you didn't have this, let me take it out, you can see what happens right here. So track one is just one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, right? Um, that's fine, but usually what I do is I use at least a two digit, just because I think it's cleaner. So once you're happy with the pattern that you have, simply go down here and click OK and let MediaMonkey do the work for you. Down here, you can see the progress. So now it's moving all of the files, and I'll just let it do its thing. I'm not entirely sure why it's stopping on this file. Uh, it may be that I have it open somewhere. But what happens is that if I go into this sorted <clears throat> folder within my uh, Windows Explorer, you can see that it's automatically already creating the subfolders. Okay, so now it's done. Like I said, I'm not quite sure why that took a while and it was stuck on that uh, that track, but now it's done. And if I go back here, all of the tracks that was in the parent folder are now gone. They've been moved and renamed. Okay, so they were moved and renamed into the sorted folder. So here you go. And remember that when I did this. I chose to organize it first by artist name. So that's why you see these folders. Okay. But if I go inside, say Stevie Nicks, there's the album name. And within the album, all of the music tracks organized the way I want it. So if we go back to Media Monkey, right click and auto organize, it should remember the last uh, pattern that you set up. And you can see that it's doing exactly what we set up. So within the sorted folder, it first organized it by artist name, then by album name, and then by track number. Now suppose I wanted to add, let's say, artist dash album name, like that instead. I can do that too. Now when I click OK, it's going to do all of that work for me. When I go back to Windows Explorer, I can see again that I have all of my artists, but now when I go in, instead of just, change my view here, instead of just the name of the album, now it's putting the, the artist name in front, right? We can see that within Stevie Nicks as well, basically within all of them. So hopefully, you kind of get the idea of uh, how to use this tool within MediaMonkey, which is super powerful. So if you had ripped your music and uh, had ended up putting everything in one folder uh, for whatever reason, maybe it was a mistake, maybe you thought that that was uh, a good place to organize it, to have just an all, all in one folder, uh, but then you change your mind, this is how you would do it. Anyways, I hope uh, you found this useful, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. 
and uh, see you later.